Hello friends, welcome to the fourth session for the series Test Automation Framework for Web Applications built using Cypress and JavaScript. In the last session, we went through the Cypress project structure. Now in this session, we'll take an application and we'll automate the login pro. So let's get started. So let me open the application. So we're going to use this application basically sourcedemo.com. We'll fill the valid credentials inside these text boxes like username and password and we'll click on the login button and we'll validate that the user is able to log in or not. Okay, so let's get started. As we already created the project, so this is the place like this is the directory under which we have to create our test cases, right? So n 2 e let me create a new folder. Just a second. New folder. The application name is source demo, right? source demo and what are we going to do there is let me copy the predefined files only to do and now let me delete this uh, delete to do what are we going to see uh, we are going to see the login right so let me just rename the file as login and delete all this comments part just now Let this as well and done okay so what does this describe means basically what is this it so this is basically like a test case one test case basically orh means this is going to execute executes before each test case okay and this is the kind of test shoot we can say okay so module wise we can say so for example let me update this uh, details here so this is basically uh, our application is source demo right so source demo and this module is maybe the functionality is login okay and what is our test case let me update the details here So it is basically login. So what are we going to do? Login with valid credentials. And what are we doing to what are we going to validate? So validate that user is able to login. Right? Login using what? Using valid credentials okay so let's get started so let me just open it uh, maybe here just a second source demo so this is the url of the application which i can put it up here so you see a uh, visit is actually the predefined uh, command which cypress has given to navigate to a particular website okay and we don't even need to write anything for handling the drivers or something because uh, we don't have drivers here with cypress it is directly going to execute uh, in the browser itself okay now we are here now we want to perform some operations here like we want to perform fill the details here so let me just put down the dev tools we are inside the elements tab okay and let me copy for example let me use the selector sub let's not waste time thus CSS selector okay so what I'm going to do is so this cat is something uh, basically with the help of a CSS selector Cypress by default uh, supports CSS selectors okay what I am supposed to do I'm actually trying to fill some data right I'm actually trying to fill some data so what is the method name which Cypress has given type okay I have to provide some data inside this so maybe this is the valid credentials you see they have actually given like accepted usernames are okay so this is the username I want to give and then this is the password I want to give okay but inside different textbooks so let me just go here and this is like ID is password so I think I can directly take this as a password okay now the other thing is uh, what i need to do what i have to do is click right on the login button so let me just uh, 
take the CSS selector of this this button login login I do not want to click oh, sorry I do not want to type anything I already want to click only right so let me just click here now let's try to execute this basically uh, for example so what was the command so we were open using it npx type as open okay so we already configured this end to end testing we are executing it in the chrome browser let me select the login and you see we are able to uh, navigate to the application and we are able to type the values basically yeah standard user and we are able to see okay so let me just close this close it and let me add a verification has here as well so the verification would be like uh, maybe um what we can do basically we can take any parameter from this page basically so we are landing on the right page or not so for example products right so products is something this is the products page when user is successfully logged in so this is the product space so let me take this particular element relative css selector so cy dot get this is the and this should have this should have what text is is it actually expecting product site so let me just re-execute this and this is not the only way basically to execute our test cases so this is a, a something like which we are opening the cypress again and again and we are selecting login right so this is not the only way we are going to see the other way as well with the help of which we can directly execute the test cases in the different uh, 